My fellow Russians, dear friends, the year 2020 is just around the corner. Soon, we will enter the third decade of the 21st century. We are living in a time of rapid and dynamic change, a time of controversies. But it is our duty to ensure Russia's continued success and development, to make sure that all change in our lives is for the better. With excitement, we're waiting for the sounds of the chimes, hoping that all of our dreams would come true. That said, our personal dreams and aspirations are inseparably tied to Russia itself, its present and future. The future of our children depend on each of us making our own contribution. Only together can we take on the challenges facing our society and our nation. In unity lies the strength to achieve even the highest of goals. These values are a gift from our forefathers, a generation that never wavered, a generation of heroes and victors. In the coming year, we will be celebrating the 75th anniversary of the victory in the Great Patriotic War. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to wish a happy holiday to the veterans of the front line, workers of the home front, the older generation and everyone who went through the terrible hardships of war, all to defend the future of our people, of our homeland. You have our eternal gratitude. Dear friends, as always, we start preparing for the New Year celebrations in advance. Even with so much on our hands, we always have time for friendly gatherings, for the warmth of human connection. We strive to be helpful and generous towards others, lending a hand to those in need of our support, cheering them up with gifts and attention. It's these moments of sincere kindness, selflessness and generosity that create the magic of the new year. This holiday brings out the best in people, transforming the world around us, filling it with happiness and smiles of joy. These warm and uplifting holiday feelings have lived in us since childhood. Every year those feelings return to us as we embrace our loved ones, our parents, as we prepare gifts for our children and grandchildren, as we join them to decorate the New Year tree with cardboard figurines, baubles and glass garlands. Sometimes old, these beloved family toys now bring joy to the younger generations. Of course, every family has its own New Year's traditions, but we're all united by an atmosphere of love and care. Let happiness and understanding always be a part of your home, guiding you through tough times and strengthening the bonds between generations. Let your parents be well. Let them always feel that you are by their side and let every child know that they are the most precious thing to their parents. Friends, the new year is at the door. Let us wish peace, well-being and prosperity to one another and to our homeland. Happy New Year 
A new decade has begun. To all of our viewers, from everyone here at RT, Snob and Godden, or Happy New Year to you all. Some gorgeous fireworks, stirring music there. The Russian national anthem always really gets to you. Let's go to Red Square now in the heart of Moscow. RT Saskia Taylor is right among the celebrations. Uh, Saskia, I can hear the, the uh, fireworks crackling away in the background. Quiet an atmosphere to be right there near Red Square. What's it like? to ring it in. I'm quite literally standing underneath the fireworks. I'm in the very centre. I've got some basils right behind me. You can hear the crowds going wild. And then to my right, I've got the Spaskaya Tower. And just a couple of moments ago, we heard the much anticipated 12 midnight chimes from that tower there. It's the most famous clock tower within the Kremlin's walls. And it's really become the face, the symbol of New Year here in Russia. So 2020 is officially upon us. Just now, you saw on your screens, of course, the spectacular fireworks display that was just erupting right in front of my eyes over the river Moskva and all across the night sky. They launched this year uh, a record 35,000 salvos from 11 locations. We're actually right next to one of the locations. Um, and that was all, of course, to ensure that we had the most uh, spectacular, the most unbeatable performance of light and colour and of sound so that no one down here was was left disappointed and if the reaction of that crowd just below us is anything to go by it all lived up to the hype um, the people in the, are out in force today they're uh, waving sparklers they're singing they're dancing they're hugging strangers I can see um, they're of course popping champagne not even the rain could dampen this crowd spirit and unfortunately yes we did have rain we've had the warmest December in 133 years and in, it was so dire in fact that local authorities had to bring in some artificial snow for some of the decorations in the centre. Either way, it's very clear that all these party goers are going to be out and about well into the early hours of the morning. They're going to be walking around, soaking up the atmosphere and taking advantage of everything that there is on offer. And my goodness, is there a lot from carousels to concerts, from uh, ice skating to food markets and dance offs. And all the while, they'll be able to stroll through a fairy tale Moscow that's been decked out with dazzling decorations and light displays. Nothing, of course, more dazzling than the tree in front of the Kremlin at the far end of Red Square. It towers above us this year at 22 metres high. It's weighed down by an astonishing 3,500 decorations. And to top it all off, it has a whopping three kilometres of light snaking their way all the way up to the star at the top. And it's precisely this magical vibe that Moscow has at this time of year that brings in, on average, five million people to the capital over the New Year holiday week. Many of them do, of course, choose to flood to the epicentre that is Red Square. And you really can't blame them because a Russian saying goes that if you see in the New Year here on Red Square, you're in for a year of good luck. And who would want to pass up on that? I will admit, though, some have probably opted for coziness and warmth over a party along the Kremlin walls. And they'll be at home gathered with family and friends, uh, clinking champagne glasses, feasting on traditional New Year's dishes and, of course, exchanging gifts. And tonight, all all across Russia. Children will be looking out their windows and awaiting eagerly a visit from Dyed Maroz, who is Russia's Father Christmas. Um, here in Moscow, we're one of the last to welcome 2020 with open arms. Russia has 11 time zones across her vast territory. So in the Far East, things are probably winding down, but not here. Here, the party's just getting started. So from myself, from the thousands of revelers here in the very beating heart of Mother Russia. Welcome to a new year. Welcome to a new decade. And let's hope these 20s are as roaring as the last. Now that we've seen how Moscow celebrated, let's take a quick look at some of the other experiences all around the world.